Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Orlando. I'm at Las Palmeras at Hilton Grand Vacation Club Hotel. I'm going to show you all around, give you all the details. You stay with us. So now we are in Orlando and we are driving to the hotel. And this is what it looks like when you are driving there. Very nice, very tall, couple of buildings. You'll drive in the driveway. Now what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna bring you to the parking lot where you're gonna have to park. You should actually park in front. But let's say once you've already signed in, you have to park in the parking garage and you have to use your card that you use to get into the room in order to get into the parking garage. You're gonna park here and there's a little connection right to the hotel. So it's it's very easy. You are going to see there's the parking garage. You can do, if you wanna pay for valet, it's on the first floor. If you don't wanna pay, it's on the second floor. You just take your card, you put it over here and there. They say, okay, and then it'll open and you can go and you can park your car. As easy as that. Now, if you go in front and you park, which you're going to do first because you got to get the key, right? You can't go in and do that without getting the key. So you park here, and this is what the front of it looks like. There are plenty of things to carry your luggage, and they'll help you if you want. It's up to you. So we're going to go through the doors, and we're going to see what it looks like inside. And then we'll bring you to the room and to all the amenities. So here we go. We go inside, and they were working on the left. But on the right-hand side was where you register. You go over there, there you can see some elevators. I'm going to tell you more about the elevators later. It's important to learn about that. But here you go, right to the uh, desk, the registration desk. And I'm going to walk around a little bit. Everybody is very, very friendly. They give you two waters when you walk in. Over here, they have some interesting things about Universal. You can go and stand in there and get your picture. Quite fun. Maybe you are the wizard. And for the kids, they have a Miss Pac-Man game, and it's free to play. And it seemed like this boy, at least he was really enjoying it. We're going to take a little walk to the right, and then we'll go the other way. Now, if you go this way, there are convention rooms in the back. But these are the computers that you can work on right there if you need to work on the computers. The pool is going to be to the left. Normally, these restrooms will be working, but they weren't at this particular time. And in the back there, you see that door? That's one of the convention centers in case you are here for a business trip i'm gonna try to open those doors but they are locked so i didn't get very far with that i couldn't show you what the convention center looked like but that is where one of the rooms are and i think there's two of those that's looking down the hall that way and that's going back again if you go out you'll see the pool area heading back this way will bring you back to there's a bar and there's coffee and there's a restaurant so I want to show you those and on the right again is the pool I keep wanting to go there because I love the pool but we're gonna go towards where the coffee is they do have free coffee you can get free coffee every morning and I think it's 24 7 if you want it and there's a lot of miscellaneous groceries that you can buy over here, you can see in the refrigerators, uh, sodas and some snacks. There's also some snacks in the back. And there's the bar if you want to just sit at the bar and enjoy. I saw a lot of people there, especially in the afternoons and in the evenings. This video was taken in the morning, so most people are just thinking about coffee and breakfast. But here are some of the drinks that you can get. And I saw there was also some yogurts and Powerades and waters whatever it is and the coffee is on the left over here and that's free you can get that there's a whole bunch of other snacks over there I don't believe that they're free I think you have to buy those but I wanted to show you what they had in case you were interested um, that's part of the uh, little bar area and over here is the restaurant now it was closed in the morning you can order room service and you can order breakfast and they will bring it to you we had some kind of room service type breakfast they brought it to us at the pool it was a lunch and here is the restaurant when it is open you can sit in there but uh it was closed at this time it wasn't too busy when we went it was uh in the middle of may so not too busy and now we're gonna head back to the main area of the lobby you can take a look at the bar again and we're gonna head back towards the doors where we first came in mm -hmm. 
it's very pretty, very well done, um, very classy, very nice hotel. Hilton hotels are, are always done well. And uh, this one was purchased by Hilton in the last five or 10 years. So it's a little bit different. Look at that, isn't that neat? I really like that. And now it's a Hilton Grand Vacation Club. So now we're in the elevators and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the elevators. When you're going up the elevators, they will not go anywhere unless you use your card, just like at the parking garage. There you go, you have to put the card and then press the floor. Otherwise, you're just gonna be stuck. So make sure you have your card with you at all times. Also look for where the laundry is. If you need to do laundry and there's a certain areas where there's ice and there's trash on each floor, you can go to that resort information, click on that and that will give you all that information that you can you can use very very handy they give it to you when you sign in now we are walking to the room we're off the elevator and we i want to show you what the rooms look like the floor uh and here we are this is our room we're inside they tell you the fire emergency evacuation route a little bit of information and then we're going to look at the rest of the room now this would be if you have a connecting room with someone Say you're going with your children, each one a different room, or you have other family members. That's how that's connected. And here is the kitchen table. Here is a picture, very, very pretty. We actually like that picture. Um, here is the where you're going to put your clothes, the drawers. And I, I'm always heading, wanting to head into the balcony because that is beautiful. But let's look a little bit around the room. This is the actual bed. And again, nice artwork. There's a nice place to sit. There's some nice drawers. There's some areas to charge your cell phones and whatever electronic equipment that you use. Now over here is the kitchen. Kitchen is very important. You can see uh, they have a nice microwave and they have coffee. Here is the refrigerator we already stocked ours by the time we took this picture with some diet coke and some waters that they gave us the waters and then over here you can't open that drawer and this bottom one has the trash now here is a better look at the microwave it works good and the utensils up there paper towels and an ice bucket again look for that information so you can find out where the ice buckets, they were on the seventh floor where we were because we were on the ninth floor and that was the closest one for us. Here is the actual kitchen with the little uh, toaster and coffee. They give you lots of coffee. We drink a lot of coffee, so we had to order some more coffee. They bring it right to your room. And again, we're gonna take a look at that microwave, nice and big. You can fit a lot in that microwave if you need to. And over here are cups and dishes and anything you might need. It's always good because you have the fridge and if you go out to dinner and you have leftovers, you can bring it home. Or if you wanna make something for breakfast, it's right there. So now let's take a look at the bathroom. Always the toilet is always important in any room. And you can see it right here. Nice sink, lots of towels. We stayed for three days and they gave us enough towels for three days, so that was great. And let's take a look at the shower. They give you conditioner, body lotion, and shampoo. And I love the handles, and it was very strong, worked very well, um, easy to use. So a shower was very good. No complaints about that. I have no complaints about anything in this hotel. And here is the sink, just a single sink. And they give you everything that you could need there, including some body lotion there and hand lotion and some soap and lots of mirrors. And there's also a mirror on the outside. Let's take another look. There's the bed and here is a closet. What do they got hidden in here? Well, if you need to iron your clothes, there's an ironing board. You can put your luggage on there. If you need to take uh, the basket to bring your laundry down, you can do that. A fire extinguisher, emergency, you know, things you can hang. And there's some extra um, blankets in case you get cold. And let's take a look at the drawers. On this side, these drawers, they, um, you can see what they look like, pretty. And of course, some more area for you to put 
your electronics in. Here you go. You can set the temperature to whatever you want. Let's look at the drawers where you're going to put your clothes. They have two up top and then two long ones on the bottom and they have some on the sides. So, you know, I don't know how many people. This is only a suite. So it was big enough for two people. You can get them with bigger rooms if you like. Here's the other drawers. Um, same thing. Nothing any different. Just very, very nice. Let's go look at that patio again and the view because I love the patio. Two chairs. Like I said, there was only two of us and it was just a suite. That's all we needed. I always ask for a good view. I like the view of the pool. Um, you can see how pretty it is. I'm going to show you at night as well. But in the back, there is um, the new Universal Park is being built, but you can see it from here. And over there, there is a water slide and a splash pad, as well as the pool. And the pool, I believe, is open from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. There is no lifeguard, but there is a patio bar, which we will definitely show you. Now we are downstairs and we are walking out and we're going to walk to the pool. But first, we're going to show you the activity room, the fitness room, all the good stuff. And the barbecue. There is a place to barbecue if you want to barbecue. And there's plenty of seating if you just want to sit outside. See how nice it is? That's connected to the restaurant. If you want to go to the restaurant, you don't have to. And over here is the pool. They say it's a little bit different than most of their Grand Vacation Clubs because this used to be a hotel. It wasn't built just as the Vacation Club. But still, they have all the great qualities that you always find in the Hilton Grand Vacation Club. Whether you're a member or even if you just wanted to rent a hotel room, you can. You know, it's, it's just a great place to go. So now we're going to take a little walk and see what we can find. I want to show you all the grounds. Here are the towels. You can get the towels outside. You don't need to bring the ones in your room. Grab them there and you return them over there. And over here is where you can get the barbecue. You can make a little barbecue. It's first come, first serve. I didn't see anybody using it while we were there. But, uh, you know, people from time to time, you might want to buy some hamburgs, hot dogs, and make them on the grill, have a fun night. And there's plenty of places to sit. Two of them, and there is trash if you need to and in the back over here which we didn't realize at first there is an activities room great place for the kids Lots of things for the kids to do. You want to bring them over here to burn off some energy? This is where you want to go. Fun place. Lots to look at. There's a pool table here and there's a pool table on the other side, which I will show you outside. So you want to play some chess. Maybe they want to do some arts and crafts or play some games. There's board games over here. Always nice to play a family board game. Kids always seem to love that. And I remember when I was a kid, I loved that. And they have them. You don't even have to worry about bringing your own. And here we're again was that pool table. And we're going to head out. There's certain activities at certain times too. You want to check that scan that I told you earlier so that you make sure you get all the right times and things that you can do. So now we're going to go out. We're going to look at the fitness center. We've been to the activity center. And the first thing, uh, it's very near the pool, the fitness center. Uh, when I work out, I like to work out and then jump in the pool because it's nice to cool off. And there were some people using it. 
we're going to show you there's also the restrooms in there in case uh, you're at the pool and you need to use the restrooms. changing room if you need it and here is the fitness center you can see you can run you can do whatever it is you need to do in there lots of different equipment it's not huge but it's got a lot of stuff and it's something for everyone now over here these chairs are for hdv members only the other ones are for not for hdv members if you're an hdv member make sure you did that little scanny thing and you reserve one the night before because, uh, you know, they fill up quickly sometimes in the busy times of the year, they said. So uh, the night before you sign up and then in the morning come around 8 o'clock and they will assign you a chair. Now over here is the pool. And it's short to tall. And right here you can see there's a splash pad for the kids. And that runs till like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So that was really nice. We're also going to take a ride on the slide so you stay with us. Here is the pool rules. Always good to know the rules before you go to the hotel. I'm gonna show you there's also a jacuzzi. Now these chairs are for everyone. You could be a hotel member. You don't have to be an HGV Hilton Grand Vacation Club member to, to get on the rest of the chairs. Nice, nice pool. And there's little areas in the pool you can sit if you just wanna sit. And over here is the jacuzzi. Let me tell you, we went in and that was really hot. Okay, it was only like 82 degrees, but we just came out of the cold pool and it seemed like it was a huge difference. If you like jacuzzis, you're gonna love that one. And of course, there's always chairs to help those who need some help. You can see both the pool and the uh, hot tub have that. So that's great. nice grounds and they're well kept there's a lot of people there's activities there was a trivia there was a hula hoop contest when we were there they had all kinds of different things going on here we are we are in the area where they have games and toys and i'm gonna play a few games let's see how i do i'm gonna play some cornhole and then i'm gonna play some billiards i'm not gonna do too much let's see first throw right in i'm good aren't i second throw not quite well maybe i'll pick up a stick and see if i can do some billiards all right not bad not bad and I didn't do any ping pong. But if you're interested in playing ping pong, the game is here. And now we're going to go up the slide and we're going to give you a first person view of the ride from the slide so you can see what it's like before you go on see if you think that you are going to like it well enjoy the ride not too bad a ride well this is the view at night from the patio i always like to show a night view and you can see the pool and we're going to show you the splash pad how beautiful that is at night and i believe it is still running at this time yep we'll zoom in so you can see that it's still running 
and this is the pool area. So this is Rockin' Robin. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. I hope if you go to the Las Palmeras in Orlando that you like it as much as we did.